The cranial nerves find their origin in the brainstem. Each of them passes through the brain in a specific way in order to reach its destination. We'll take a closer look at the course of the cranial nerves through the brain and the relation of those nerves to other major anatomical structures. In this video, we will highlight the 10th cranial nerve, also known as the vagal nerve. The vagal nerve consists of different fiber qualities, namely sensory, motor, and parasympathetic fibers. It exits the brainstem caudal to the glossopharyngeal nerve in the retro olivary sulcus. As it continues its way through the brain, accompanied by the 9th and 11th cranial nerve, it reaches the jugular foramen, here faced from above. As the vagal nerve passes through this foramen in order to leave the intracranial space, two sensory ganglia can be noted the superior or jugular ganglion and the inferior or nodose ganglion. Continuing its course, the vagal nerve runs in between the carotid artery and the internal jugular vein. Reaching the thorax, the tenth cranial nerve crosses the major blood vessels, the subclavian artery on the right and the aortic arch on the left. Subsequently, the vagal nerve can be followed as it passes posterior to the root of the lung and at the lateral side of the esophagus. Several nerves take root from the tenth cranial nerve. The first branches considered are the meningeal branches. These nerves guarantee the sensory innervation of the dura mater. Passing on, the auricular branch of the vagal nerve, here only the very first part, preserves the sensory innervation of the dorsal and caudal side of the tympanic membrane and the auricular tube. It also contributes to the sensory innervation of the auricle. Further on, the pharyngeal branch spreads from the tenth cranial nerve. The branch adds motor fibers to the pharyngeal plexus. Branches exiting the plexus consist of fibers originally distributed by the ninth and tenth cranial nerve. These fibers are responsible for motor innervation of all pharyngeal muscles except the stylopharyngeal muscle, which is exclusively innervated by the ninth cranial nerve. The pharyngeal branch does not only contribute to the pharynx, it also innervates the soft palate. Noteworthy, the motor innervation of the tensor valley palatini muscle is preserved by the fifth cranial nerve. We will now take a closer look at the superior laryngeal nerve. After branching of the vagal nerve, it separates into an internal and external laryngeal nerve. The internal branch enters the larynx through the thyrohyoid membrane and provides the sensible innervation of the larynx, including the taste sensitivity of the epiglottis. The external branch innervates the cricothyroid muscle. The recurrent laryngeal nerve branches off in the thorax and then projects back to the muscles of the larynx, except the cricothyroid muscle. A discrepancy between the left and right recurrent laryngeal nerve can be observed. On the left hand side, the recurrent laryngeal nerve loops under the aortic arch in order to attain the larynx, thus from ventral to dorsal. Unlike the right recurrent laryngeal nerve, which loops under the subclavian artery. Next, the vagal nerve provides three cardiac branches consisting of different fibers, namely autonomic, parasympathetic and sensory ones. These fibers contribute to the innervation of the heart. Finally, additional vagal branches include the pulmonary branches and branches projecting through the abdominal organs, for example the stomach and liver. This video was created with the application Anatomy Learning and recorded with Active Presenter.